Welcome. This is the April 10th Open ZFS production user call. We have Greg, Stu, Andrew, Daniel, and myself, Michael. We had some uh, oh, informal conversations about upcoming events, and we are definitely looking for sponsors given that events are looking good. And uh, Greg, you wanted to talk about removing special devices. Go ahead and share your screen when you're ready. Sure. share screen okay and just bear with me is yep. the uh, font big enough or kind of tiny maybe do a command plus plus your thing you might do it. yep yep in the right is, is the font size all right for you guys I'll yeah, let others good. answer. I have a giant display for this. Oh, one. okay. I, I have. It's good for me. Oh, okay. I have, a, I have a tiny display, and I can see it great. That's uh, go. that's weird. It started typing what I was asking you guys in my console. It's a little sketchy. Anyway, mm. um, yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, this this is the special device I was speaking of here, the metadata device. So that's the one where the small files goes to and, and uh, other metadata. Now, I was told that once you start using these, um, you can't take them out. And that's this... not true. I've done it. You've done it? Yeah, I've done it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I switched, yeah, I, I, I switched on a backup server not too long ago. Um, so I, I wanted to switch the special. So apparently there there's a cost to that. Um, and in, in order to recover from the cost, you have to, you probably need to replicate all, all of your data so it restores in the new metadata device. So it's not obviously not great, but you're not stuck with it. If something goes wrong and you need to get rid of it, you can absolutely get rid of it. But can I remove it without migrating data? Yeah. Yeah, okay. you just you you'll just uh, have a penalty because your metadata will be moved onto your you know onto your oh, performance likely penalty? slower storage. Right. But is is that any different than you would have had without the special metadata? Device oh no, no no no! You just just when you add it back in, you know. So if you um, add the if you add the meta, if you have the special later, yeah, then you don't get the you don't get the thrilling <laughs> speed of uh, with your with your older stuff. Oh, if it's so, on disk already, just like compression or other stuff, right? Exactly. Okay, exactly. Cool. That's reasonable. Yeah, I am. Sorry um, to interrupt. Yeah, no, yeah. you're not at all. That's, those are the answers he's after. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, the, re the reason why I'm asking is, uh, is that um, these are two Honey Badger cards that we got, which are uh, two PCIe uh, NVMe with a switch on it cards. And the uh, vendor told me that, that we could have them. Mm -hmm. And I, and I'm like, have them as in keep them. And he was like, yep, yeah, I'll just want a success story from you later on. I'm like, yeah, I'm good with that. Um, and then, <laughs> and, uh, and then he asked me a little while ago, about how's it going? And I'm like, uh, you guys might recall, I was saying that we're having some problems with doing uh, live uh, uh, reviews of uncompressed video off of the, off of the array. That was one of the challenges I was dealing with a little while ago. Heck yeah. And, um, yeah. Anyways, I brought that up and I said, so it hasn't been great, but uh, we're still looking at the problem. And he didn't seem to be too happy about that. And then um, he called me about two weeks ago and said, uh, I might need to ask you for those cards back. And I explained to him that's not probably going to happen. So, um, yeah. So um, just to prepare myself proactively, I, I want to find out if, if I was oh, going to have to copy all this data off somewhere, but. Okay, so number one, if they'd help you, uh, well, one, if they can be removed because you may have to return them, and two, did they seem to help with your review or not? Well, they were in there for the review, so I've never tested the review in, without it. Um, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But um, but uh, that said, I went and talked to the uh, to the, the review people in that um, are in the screening rooms, yeah. And they said, they said, 
Yeah, that was a problem at first, but it really hasn't been bothering us uh, in the last while. So, um, cause I was, I was curious why they weren't complaining anymore. And, uh, and that, uh, I guess it, uh, kind of worked out for them. Well, one, take the credit Two, do we have any statistics on its usage? Kind of like arc stats. I know it's like new territory here. I, I mean, I know on the Illumo side, we can do a, uh, Z pool. IOS uh, Z pool IO stat on the directory. I think it's a data. It requires a dash B to see everything, and that should give us at least some additional information. Somewhat, what you're doing uh, on a or on a data set, you can name it. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can, and you can you can stick a number if you want it. Yeah, like that, yeah. or even that if you want to go faster. But yeah. now he's got. You've got so many things in there that it's hard to tell what each column is. Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, that's uh, where is it? Let's just do this. Yeah, I've done those with ugly graphs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's it there. But and but, the um, special class only handle metadata. I'm surprised it's not. No, I, I said. Specific name, it just says special because that's yeah, kind of not helpful if I sit down at it. Like, oh, yeah, what's it doing? Yeah, no, I um, I set it up to handle small files under okay. yeah under sixty four k I think it was, uh, because I had it to one hundred and twenty eight k, but it was filling up too quick and um, which kind of surprised me. But anyways, mm -hmm. um, and plus it does the normal metadata stuff so my. DUs and whatnot are super fast, which I enjoy. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, Can you set it to just do the small files? Um, yeah. No. Uh, what's what was what, what, what is that? So. ZFS list, not list, is it or get get all? Is it? Yeah. Get all yeah, will tell right. you all the parameters. Yeah. Uh, uh, you I might do a Z pool get all. Maybe that's what you're looking for. Z pool get all, yeah. Because that'll tell you the pool. Things. Yeah, I was I was looking for the size that I set the uh, the uh, small files to be wrote to the special devices for. I saw 64k fly by in the last. Yeah, that's that's what I I seen that too right here. Yeah. 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 I'll there it is. There. 64k. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, could you do a Z pool list? Oh, that's interesting. That's the ZFS, not a pool stat. Okay. Yeah, and you're at 92%, so your performance will, unless you're purely read-only, you're going to really suffer on rights there. Just saying, just saying. Yep, no, no, and you're 100% right. the hard right. way. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, um, I last... turn, off, turn off your scrub really quick. Yeah. I have a, I have a uh, alert that starts to throw at 75 percent bingo so that i yeah. can deal with that problem yeah i don't like it above 80 at all um yeah. but the allocator it, changes at 80 just so you, if in case you don't know so. yeah oh, I didn't everything know slows down at 80. yeah yeah no i agree um and, and you might recall last week i was saying that we went to set up the new petabyte of storage um but the hba failed i'm still waiting for my rma for that oh, bummer. um Ugh. And and that's the reason why this is ninety two percent, because we have a policy that we have to have two copies of our data. So I've been data wrangling around, and this was the last device that had enough room to copy one of our shows onto. Um, so, so yeah, that's that's pretty much. That's, that's what pretty the much real what world looks like. Yeah, yeah. So this is this is a, a temporary thing. So sure. hopefully this week we uh, we get the. Uh, the uh, RMA for the HBA because this this these four projects that we're working on um, takes up a whole petabyte. Hmm. Yeah. So. Cool. Yeah. Anyways, that's show and tell for now. But uh, yeah, I'm nice. going to. Uh, is is there? A, I guess I should have looked. I should know how to use Google by now. But is there is there a documented method on how to get rid of those special devices? I might have asked. Clara when I did it and they gave me and they just shot me the instructions right. um, but it's but I don't think it was it. different than removing any other any other VDEV so 
Um, I can, I can, let me, let me look while we, uh, while somebody else talks. Oh, thank you. Let's yeah. see if I can find that. Hmm. Yeah. That's that. Yeah. yeah all of our, yeah. all of our stuff is full right now. I unfortunately. hear you. Yeah. That's Hollywood for you. Yeah. 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 Even our, even our main store just grossly full. <laughs> so. It's like 94 is the number of the day. Yep. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Okay. Anything else to show? Or shall I? No. Yeah. We can terminate that. Okay. Boom. And... So, yeah. The. Like many new features, the meta, special metadata classes are a new feature, and it does get quite fascinating how you can leverage the small files, etc. And maybe it has its own set of devices with a record size for small. And I assume the metadata is like ridiculously small. So, uh, in the course of that, did you set a record size when setting that up? Yeah, one megabyte. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thank I you. um, it's 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 nice to to like when you do the. IO stat, you can you can see it really being used. It's a puts a smile on your face for some reason. <laughs> but, uh, you can you can see that the uh, the metadata drives are getting hit pretty hard. The money uh, is worse. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wouldn't you want something smaller than one meg for mm, 64k on down? Well, on. my I, I ran and I pasted this a long time ago on okay. the channel. I, I ran this command that showed. Uh, it enumerated all the files on the file system. Yes, yes, yes. And it, yeah, and I wrote a size beside them. So almost, uh, I think it was like uh, eighty percent or higher of our files are larger than one megabyte. Um, okay. So, yeah. So I assumed that that was a reasonable. Well, that's one meg for the pool itself, or for the metadata device, special. Uh, for the pool. Oh well, that makes sense. Yeah, no, yeah. that I get. But then for the special device, did it? I did not have a default or prompt. Yeah, okay. I, I I think the only thing I changed there was the uh, was the the, the uh, threshold of the files I would get yeah. wrote to. It. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Yeah. I'll look into that record size though. I'm just curious because yeah. it's a one of those things I'd love to spend a weekend with, but I ain't got a weekend for a very long time. It's been <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, uh, Stu, have you experimented with special allocation classes or whatever term they ended up using for it? Not in that method. Cool. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. Uh, Andrew, like, same question. Going around the not, horn. Not really. I'm, that's why I'm asking questions about it. Cause yeah. And, and we don't, go ahead. We don't really use them the special devices. I'm not even sure if our branch supports them, to be honest. Okay. And Greg, before you, while you were away, we kind of bantered about the fact that it mildly terrifies us to have the sort of uh, mental separation and schizophrenia of metadata over there. And if you lose that, like the good old days with your slog being uh, V15 and earlier, you lose your slog, you lose your pool. And it's... Nerve wrecking. <laughs> um, yep, no, I, I, I would agree. Um, and that's why I put three mirrors of it. I don't I know. know if that's, yeah, I don't know if that is a false sense of security, but I figured if I had three copies, um, maybe, maybe that's a good thing. My thinking that's there was very typical, very typical for petabyte pools. That's a, that's for sure something a lot of people do. Yeah, yeah. My my thinking there was if I have one, you know, and it fails, it fails. If I have two and one of them fails, then they might not agree on which one's failed. So uh, my thinking was a three-way mirror. Maybe there's uh, some algorithm to determine quorum on there and who actually is dead and who's alive. Well, what it, what, it will, what it will do is in the event that you have a disagreement between the two disks, mm -hmm. it then checks the the checksum for the block right. so it can use that to determine which one is correct yeah okay and yeah, as you may sense. know you pay the because while zfs of... is not, while zfs uh, is not magic it's as close as we can get 
you do yeah, have also, synchronized yeah. writes, but you do have reads that are balanced across them. So you get a little bonus there. Go ahead, Daniel. Yeah. I was just going to say, in terms of senses of security, if any VDEF dies, the bull's dead. So just, just you, you know, so the fact that you have you have two relatively lightly written SSDs that are unlikely to encounter a failure state state that they they break, I think you know t take take the win, especially if you have if you, I mean if you have a rust pull. If you don't have a rust pull, then maybe don't bother. But. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel, I don't feel extra. I don't feel extra like I'm in an extra precarious position by by doing running on, it. running on a tri run, running that stuff on a triple mirror. Assuages a lot of the concerns that I expected. And they don't let you run it on a single. It's not, it's not even allowed. Oh really? Good. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, did you find that syntax, Daniel? No, well, sorry. I'm no, sorry. No, 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 no. And collectively, do we think you can only do small files without metadata, or is it metadata plus stuff that's configurable? I, I think you have to do metadata, but yeah, no. Uh, the, by default, that's that's what it is. This metadata. This is yeah. what I recall from reading when I was reading up on it. Um, and then later on, they added the ability to also store small files there. Got it. Oh, which is brilliant, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's pretty nifty. We can have nice things. Yeah, there's no better place to store small files than on uh, on uh, on memory, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. Whew. Well, any other yeah. topics? Well, getting the images through answers on email. I, I did remember the one thing that, yes, that we forgot earlier. Has anybody looked at the solid IGM NVMe SSDs? What's the name? Solidium. Oh boy. Uh, so I'll IG. How'd I do? Solidium SSDs? I put it in chat. Okay. Solid okay. IGM. IGM. Sorry. Uh, well, no, I'm just saying that would. That's pronounced. <laughs> I'm sure your pronunciation is correct. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm not. Solid IGM is maybe how it's spelled. Goodness. Um, tell us about. Tell us what you know. I have uh, not heard that name, nor can I pronounce it. Saw it on Serve the Home a couple of days ago. Okay. And a 61 terabyte. Oh, yes. Hello. I see that. Nice. SSD in 11 millimeter depth. Um, yeah, that's a game changer. Just seeing if there's anybody that's seen it other than from YouTube and price points ballpark. Yeah, that's do you know ballpark price on that? Is it, we're talking uh, grand, twenty grand, sixty nine hundred. Okay. Cool. Okay. Hmm. Um. Which it's increased since you know the guy posted the ah, yeah when he the, when the he lists things the price goes up yeah um, but again it it's especially and, and Greg I thought of you when I saw it too because it goes into that massive <laughs> footprint that if I can put a petabyte in a U um, that's that's pretty significant. If they're stable, if they're performant, if they have a lifespan beyond two and a half years, you know, all of those things. Yeah, not like archival model or read mostly or whatever. So, yeah. yeah. So, again, just. And I couldn't help but notice there's the Dell R7 four, uh, 640 1U with 10 NVMe bays up front plus the super micro equivalents. And they're not necessarily a lot of money. So what, sixty-one times ten? Uh, wow, that's <laughs> it. Ain't your petabyte, but I'm getting there. Yeah. Nice. But if it's something that you know is 
properly functional, it might be a, hey, here's how to deploy even archival stuff in a yeah. small footprint. And you're at a, you know, even if it's feeding tapes, it can feed it for years. Nobody cares. Ah, uh, my gift to you. I found the review. Thank you for mentioning Serve the Home. Uh, let's see. Boom. Serve the Home. Mention. Yeah, it looks like we're we're starting to get to the point where some of these are getting larger than what we can even get spending media on. Yeah. Let's see. So it's, wow. Are they um are they SAS interface? I would imagine it'd have to be they're U, they're, uh, U dot two. Oh yeah. M dot two. Oh nice. Yeah. U dot two. U dot two. U dot two. Yeah. Um so a, a quick two Which quick is just thing. a different connector yeah. for M dot two. Uh I generally try to avoid brands I've never heard of. Can you tell me if they're like actually Hoshiba or somebody <laughs> you've heard of? Give me a chance. Yeah, I mean, we we only use Seagate helium fill for our stuff, so exactly that's the. And the other thing is that I I spent quite some time looking at SAS NVMe, I know SAS SSDs, just flash. It's kind of not a thing in so far as it's you know dual ported SAS. Well, no one's truly asking for that for a flash drive. And the capacities were never very impressive. So I, I assume a vendor who has a bunch of chips, they're like, well, we can get the performance of NVMe or consumer volume markets of SATA. So why bother with the weird, uncomfortable middle ground of SAS? So I, it was very frustrating. I have like a, a multi-bay SAS server and then think, oh, I'll just throw in some SSDs. And nope, not a lot of choices. Uh, yeah, there's a hand. There's yeah. a handful of choices out there. Mm -hmm. um, they tend to be a bit more expensive than their uh, mm -hmm. SATA equivalents. Potentially even uh, their NVMe equivalents, which is the frustrating part. <laughs> I haven't done the comparison between those two, but I totally believe you. Oh. <laughs> um, because the reason SAS has always been more expensive is because you need the SAS controller chip. So. Right. And NVMe is like PCI. <laughs> Brain yeah. Process. NVMe, there's like, yeah, there's nothing. And then on the SATA side, the the device side is, is greatly simplified to keep the cost down. Yep. And that's why we kind of have some troubles with them. Hmm. Um, have we had any kick butt? NVMe vulnerabilities in so far as it might be like DMA through a device that you're hot plugging in. Ha ha. <laughs> just, just thinking out in, loud here. I mean, in theory, especially the U2 stuff really should very easily hot swap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I haven't done extensive testing of U2 disks though. So that's me talking out of my ass. Mm -hmm. And and we're doing that. It's it's one of the things we're demoing at NAB, um, in a very small thing attached to. I can say it now because it's in our marketing, being fed by red cameras directly. Cool, nice. So we're taking eight K. That'll off. use a lot of a lot of bandwidth. Yep, taking eight K off of the the back of the camera over a ten gig into over a ten gig network. Directly into our our platform. I was about to say I thought they're up to eight K now on their cameras. So you brought sample uh, party <laughs> favor. That's yeah. I, I keep trying to slip those into my bag, and, but I'll, I will be playing with them on Saturday. Wait. Netflix has a policy now that everything has to be filmed in eight K and down res or whatever. But no well, that's the proper no policy. Yeah. Mm. Good, yeah, yeah. I, I I concur with Netflix on this. I do too. I, we sell storage. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that too. I mean, just from a from a theoretical perspective, you know, you want to do all your stuff a res up and then take it down. Yeah. It's the same the same thing in photography. Shoot raw, take it where you need it. Yeah. That's right. Get as much as you can into the sensor, and then use what you need. 
Garbage in, garbage out. Go from good to bad. No, bad to good. That's what that's like. Fro knows photos. Anything else, gang? I'm good. Cool. Oh, I hope that answers your question. I hope yep. you get to keep the dice. Thank you very much. It sounds like oh, I, the vendor I, might be being persnickety. No, I, I got emails and whatnot. I, I'm, they're not going anywhere. I was just exploring my what ifs, you know, so. I am, um, yeah, I'm a part of a studio sysadmin form um, mm -hmm. Slack channel where sysadmins that I've spoken to for 20 years from all over the world, Weta, Disney, Pixar, everywhere, so, um, we all get together and speak in this channel about our challenges and whatnot, so he knows that, that uh, I'm very active in that form, so it wouldn't be good for his business if... if he did something like that, basically. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, I like yeah. it. And like serve the home, hopefully that either drives prices up or down. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Cool. And yeah. short short term it drives up, but long term as they're as they cause more people to buy them, mm -hmm. that increases production, which drive costs down. Boom. Yeah. Daniel, anything else? For me? No. Yeah, you. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks, gang. For All those right. headed to NAB, have a fantastic NAB. Yeah, you guys have a good day. Yeah, take care. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.